Hi everyone, this is Robert with LifeWire, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pickaxe in Minecraft. Pickaxes can be made from wood, stone, iron, gold, and diamonds, and the steps are basically the same. You just need two sticks and three of the other item. First, I'll show you how to make a wooden one. First, you just need to make some sticks using two planks of wood. Then you need a crafting table. If you don't already have one, you can make one using four planks of the same type of wood. Then equip your crafting table, put it on the ground, open it up, and you're going to put three wooden planks in the top row. And you're going to put sticks in the middle of the second and third row. And that will give you a basic wooden pickaxe. Now to make a stronger stone pickaxe, you're going to go back to your crafting table. And you're going to put three cobblestone in the top row instead. In some versions of the game, you can use other types of stone, but cobblestone always works. And a stone pickaxe is twice as durable as a wooden one, and it can mine some things the wooden one can't. To make an iron pickaxe, use three iron ingots. Iron ingots can be made by smelting iron ore in a furnace. If you don't know how to do that, we have a tutorial on how to use a furnace in Minecraft. Then making a gold one is very similar, just place three gold ingots in the top row. Gold ingots can be made by smelting gold in a furnace, which I'll actually show you how to do in just a second. And to make a diamond pickaxe, you use three diamonds in the top row. Diamond pickaxe can mine any block in the game, including ancient debris and obsidian. Now to make a netherite pickaxe, you're going to need to combine a diamond pickaxe with a netherite ingot in a smithing table. And I'll show you how to do all that, but first you need to collect four ancient debris. Ancient debris can only be found in the nether. We have a tutorial on how to build a nether portal in Minecraft if you need help with that. And you're also going to need four pieces of gold. Then you're going to need a furnace. If you don't already have one, you can make one using eight cobblestone. Put them on the outer edges of the crafting table, leaving one space empty in the middle. Then once you have a furnace, put it on the ground, activate it. Put one of your ancient debris in the top box and put some fuel in the bottom box. I'm going to use a plank of wood. And now you just have to wait a minute and your ancient debris will be smelted into netherite scrap. You're going to need four pieces, so do this four times. And once you have that, you're going to do the same thing with gold. Add some more fuel and smelt your gold into a gold ingot. Now you can do the same thing to iron if you want to make iron ingots. Once you have four gold ingots, go back to your crafting table, open it up, put four gold ingots and four netherite scrap in the crafting table. It doesn't matter, well, how you arrange them, just as long as you use four of each. And that gives you a netherite ingot. Now you need a smithing table to make that go back to your crafting table, put two iron ingots in the first two boxes of the top row, and put wood planks in the first two boxes of the second and third row, and that gives you a smithing table. Equip it, put it on the ground, open it up, and you're going to drag your diamond pickaxe into the left box, and you're going to drag the netherite ingot into the second box. And that gives you the most powerful tool in the game, the netherite pickaxe. Thanks very much for watching, this has been Robert with LifeWire, stay tuned for more Minecraft tips.